What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing eight items that were worth the extra money. So I have six fashion items and then two beauty products. So I'm really excited to share all of these items with you guys because this can give you an idea of what items are good to splurge on and I can do these videos occasionally as I collect new uh, splurge worthy items and share them with you guys because I'm very into just spending a little bit of extra money into something that is high quality and that will last me for years. And with that, let's just go ahead and dive right in. Okay, so the first item that I wanted to share um, is something I shared in my first video I made and it's about my spring wardrobe of essentials for 2020. I had to include it in this video very quickly because it is one of my top purchases of the year and I've been gaining so much use out of it. And it's these Sam Edelman Capto shoes. They retail for, I believe, $120. I did get them on sale during the shop off sale, so I saved a little bit on them. But I do think they are worth the full retail price. Um, not that you have to pay the full retail price. You can definitely wait till they go on sale, but that's later in the year. Um, they don't go on sale very often, but if you are into a very chic, classic, and timeless style, these specific shoes will achieve that look. They are comfortable. I've been getting so much use out of them and they are very high quality. They're made literally to perfection. They are a dupe for the Chanel version, um, but they are much, much more affordable than the Chanel version. So. I highly recommend these if you are looking for a pair of very classic and timeless pair of shoes. Second item I also got during the shop off sale and it is this Lioness blazer. I believe this retails for $80 so it's not like way up there um, on being so expensive but I mean $80 for one item that is a little pricey uh, but I do think it's really worth it and I am going to get a lot of use out of this during the fall time. I needed just like a classic black blazer. This specific blazer so I have it in black. It also comes in white and navy blue. What I love about the black version is that it has gold buttons and I think black and gold just looks very chic and very timeless. So um, see, I'm wearing black and gold today actually. <laughs> Another reason why I really love this blazer, it's not like your um, boyfriend style blazer. Those type of blazers are really popular right now. You see a lot of those blazers for sale, the more like straight cut type of jacket. This one is more fitted. It gives you a more shape to your silhouette. So this is really nice if you want to wear it on uh, more of a fancier occasion or just switch it up a little bit than your just regular boyfriend blazer. But I highly recommend this one. If you're looking for a more fitted classic option, this is a really good one. Okay, so the next one is my most recent purchase and I was so excited to include it in this video because I I'm in love with them. They are the Levi's wedgie straight jeans. So I bought these during the Nordstrom sale and with things going on right now, um, there's tons of sales going on for shopping because stores are closed. They're trying to make more sales online. So if you are looking to buy any items for spring, summer, fall time, I would highly recommend shopping right now because the sales are so good. I got this for 25% off, but I did see them marked down for 40. I'll link it down below and hopefully it's still um, marked that low but honestly they are worth the full retail price the full retail price is $98 for these straight leg jeans I'm not going to go into full detail about these jeans because I'm actually going to make an entire separate video about these jeans listing the pros and cons so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video but overall I think the fit and quality they're totally worth it whether you buy them full price or you get them on sale so the next item are these Mark Fisher knee-high boots I've had these boots for years actually. So they retail for about, I believe, $140 to $180. So they are pretty steep for a pair of boots, in my opinion, for one item. But they are totally worth it for the fall season. Just having one staple pair of over the knee boots is such a must if you're into over the knee boots. I mean, it's. I've been getting so much good use out of them every single fall and winter season. So I highly recommend them if you are looking uh, to splurge on a pair of knee-high boots. So if you are petite, so anywhere from like 5'4 and under, these work great. So a lot of the times, um, a problem with petites are when we purchase knee-high boots, we get our shoe size, but sometimes they go way too high up because we're short so makes sense right these are perfect for petites so they go just right above the knee and they look 
fabulous. And especially if you have more slim calves as well, they hug perfectly. So your boots aren't so loose on the calf area. It's nice, snug and tight. Looks very chic, very classic. So I do recommend these if you are looking for a pair like these. Okay, the next item, I also did very quickly mention this in my first video about all my spring wardrobe essentials, but I'll go a little bit into more detail about them here. And it's the Abercrombie Drapey Trench Coat. So I love this so much. I got it in two colors and I've actually been wearing both of the colors often and on repeat, like rotation. So the reason why I love these specific ones is because your regular cotton trench coat is very stiff and it wrinkles very easily, which I mean, those type of trench coats are meant for like more rainy weather. Uh, they usually come waterproof. So that's perfectly fine for like a separate thing. But these are meant for more of like a drapey look, more girly, feminine, uh, very chic, classic, and timeless. So it moves a lot. So that's why it's called the uh, drapey trench coat because it just moves. So the back detail has this cross here. It has gorgeous buttons in the front like your regular trench coat. It has flaps right here. If you're looking for a really good trench coat, I highly recommend this. This does retail for $140. It's very expensive. I did get them during the sale, um, although do not pay full price for them because they do go on sale occasionally. So if you see them full price, I would wait um, because Abercrombie does have sales often. And um, I did get both of these on sale and then I saw them marked down uh, not too long ago and then they put them back on full price. So I'll link them down below. If they're on sale, I would definitely grab them because they are a must have. I've been getting so much use out of them. So the next item is another pair of jeans and it is these Madewell high rise skinny jeans. I'm going to be honest, so I did not splurge on these jeans. I did get them for a crazy deal over at Nordstrom Rack. Normally their jeans retail for $128, which is absolutely crazy expensive. Um, but I got these for 40 bucks at the rack. And honestly, I think I got pretty lucky with that because I always check Nordstrom Rack. I always look to see if they have some really nice Madewell jeans. And oftentimes the ones that they have are not the ones that I'm looking for. They don't really have petite options and, and not the colors I'm looking for. So um, I don't really score there, but this specific time I did because I got them on clearance too. So I was like, oh my gosh, I, I really got lucky with these. So, but if, I were to pay full price or maybe a slight discount, I do think they're totally worth it because they fit amazing. These specific jeans are more of like a thicker denim, so they really hug your waist area, your legs, they cinch everything in. I highly recommend Madewell jeans, even if it's not these specific ones, I'll link them down below, but I just do recommend their jeans in general because they are worth the extra money. We have two more items left to share in this video. I went through all the fashion items, now I wanted to move on to a hair product. I haven't mentioned this on my channel before and I don't think I mentioned this on my Instagram page as well But I'm so excited to share it because it's literally one of my favorite products ever and it is this Orbe hair and body oil So this is pretty expensive. It retails for $75. I actually um, got this as a gift and you can get it on Amazon Prime free shipping and all and I mainly use this for my hair, so I love it for my hair. A lot of you guys ask me how I get my hair really shiny and smooth looking. It's actually this stuff. My routine is I take a shower, curl my hair, and then after I curl my hair, I actually take just a little bit of this oil and put it all over my hair. I avoid the root area so it doesn't get oily, but just on the bottom part. And then I put on my hairspray and just do it normal. And then it makes my hair look very shiny. And it is not greasy at all. 100% not greasy, which is why I really love it. And this $75 bottle will last you for a super duper long time. I've had this for over two years. And I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I don't do my hair every single day. So I probably use this a couple times a week, but literally I went through probably like like it's like right here the where it ends and i mean couple years and you still have the rest of this entire bottle i mean this is gonna last me for so long it's literally you only need to buy this one time this is a really good product to use to get a little bit more shine a little bit more softness so i highly recommend this so the last item is a makeup remover so i did mention this in way more detail in a previous video talking all about my skincare favorites 
but I will just quickly bring it up here just in case you missed that video. I'll link that video down below if you do want to see it more in detail, but it is this green clean makeup remover by Pharmacy. I really wanted to mention it in this video because it is seriously so good. The reason why I freaking love this stuff is because it doubles as a makeup remover and cleanser. So you can really cut down the amount of time and products you use when you um, wash your face at the end of the day, wash your makeup off. It gets your makeup off so good. This jar is 3.2 ounces and it retails for $34. I think it's 100% worth the money. I did not use a lot of it because I don't wear makeup every single day. I don't wear it very often. So I don't need to use a lot of it. And I also don't wear any foundation on my face at all typically either. So I don't have to use a lot of this. So I went through about this much here and it has been lasting me a super long time. Highly recommend it. I go into way more detail in my skincare favorites video. So again, I'll link that down below in case you want to know more about this product. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed seeing all these items that were worth the splurge. Maybe this will give you some ideas on what to purchase, spend a little bit of extra money on. Let me know by commenting this video or liking this video if you want to see more of these. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I make weekly videos about fashion and lifestyle. Would love to have you back. And I'll see you very soon in my next video video. Bye!